Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today, in this video, I am going to show you top 50 most common basic UI path questions and answers. So, without any delay, I am going to show you that. But before that, if you have not subscribed my channel, then please subscribe and please like this video and share with your friend as well. So let's start now. First question, which UiPath product executes the workflows designed in Studio? Answer is UiPath robot is used to execute the workflows designed in the Studio. Second question, which variable is used to store Excel range? It can be like A1 to F10 range data in, in UI path. It means which variable is used to store Excel data? Answer is data table. What will be the value of Boolean variable? Answer is true or false. We cannot store any other value like number or text in Boolean variable. How to identify array of a string variable? So the answer is like this a string and then this bracket so this will show that it means this is array of a string variable same way if we have array of integer so you will write here integer 32 and then this brackets right which variable type can store decimal value in ui path answer is double only double can store this type of value so if you want to perform you know calculation like you know division so in that scenario you will be getting decimal value as well so you have to create your variable with the type double what are the different types of workflows in ui path so there are four different types of workflows available in ui path first sequence second flowchart third state machine and fourth global handler flowchart can be used in sequence true or false so yes true we can use flowchart activity in sequence as well flowchart is not only a workflow there is a activity as well now can state activity be used in flowchart answer is no state activity can only be used in a state ma machine activity ninth question can sequence activity be used in flowchart active workflow yes we can use all other sequence activity in flowchart which panel is used to create and manage arguments in UI path. So answer is arguments panel. So you have seen there are two panels in the UI path studio. If you see in the bottom, one is the variables panel and second arguments panel. So from the arguments panel, you can create or manage arguments in UI path. What is the shortcut key? To create an argument with indirection answer is control M now what is the shortcut key to create an argument with out direction that is control shift M what are the arguments directions available in UI path so there are four argument directions available in out in out and property but you know property is not in use these days what is the naming convention to create in out argument so naming convention means you know what is the best practice we need to follow to create any you know any arguments or any variables so here to create an in out direction argument we have to follow like this in i out o so i o in out underscore and then your 
you know the purpose of that so you have to put that now which activity is used to assign value to a variable assign activity is used to assign value to a variable now which activity is used to pause the automation for five seconds so if you want to put some delay in your project somewhere then you have to use delay activity can flow decision activity be used in sequence workflow no flow decision can only be used in flow chart but yeah but if you say that you know i can use but you can only use if you are using flow chart inside that sequence so let's say you can take one sequence flow you know that workflow and inside that again you can take one flow chart activity and then inside that flow chart activity you can use that basically the purpose of this is flow decision is especially created to use with flow chart if you want to use this type of conditional decision activity in sequence you can use if activity now which activity enables you to select one choice out of multiple so we have two activities switch activity and flow switch activity switch activity is used with the sequence and flow switch activity is used with flow chart which activity is used to stop the loop at a chosen point answer is break activity so if you are using for each loop so in the loop you can use the break activity at any point and that will be that will break your loop 20 number question which recording is used to generate a full selector so basic recording is used to generate a full selector which recording doesn't support automatic recording so we have image recording that does not support automatic recording it means that supports only manual recording 22 which recording is designed to automate web pages and browsers so we have web rec recording which is used to or which is designed to automate only web pages and browsers which input method is one of the fastest method so we have simulate type click method so here you can see the name simulate type slash click it means we have two two different different if you are using type into activity then name will be simulate type method if you are using click activity so this method will be simulate click active method like that so that's why the name is similar type click which input method supports background execution so we have two methods simulate type click methods send window messages method so there are two methods input methods that supports background it means if you are using any activity like type into or click method click activity then if you'll use any of this method you know it will execute that part in the background also which input method supports auto empty field answer is simulate type click method what are the input method available in ui path so now here we have three input methods first is the default method it means if you have not applied anything then it is default method but if you are selecting any any method especially so if you select simulate so we have simulate type click method and then send window so we have three input methods 27 number question what is the use of data scrapping data scrapping is used to extract structured data from browser or document etc what is selector in ui path answer is selector is the full path of ui elements which 
helps UiPath activities to identify the UI element. It means we as a human, we can see any elements, any elements means any button, text fields, anything we can see, we can see the label, but UI path activities cannot see that. So only for that we indicate on that specific elements and it will create automatically it will generate one selector and that is that is the full path of that ui elements so that our activity that ui path activities can go and click on that or type there now what are the wild cards available in selector there are two wild cards asterisk and question mark how to convert a string to uppercase in ui path so we have to use two upper method that will convert your text your string to uppercase how to convert a string to lowercase so we have two lower method is excel required to be installed on system for excel automation in ui path no it is not required when you use workbook activities so if you are using excel activities then we should have you know excel installed in our system but if you're using workbook activities it is not required now 33 question which activity is used to write data from data table to excel in ui path so we have a write range activity which will take input from data table and write to excel which activity is used to write formula in excel so if you want to directly write some formula in your excel in your cell excel cell answer is write sale activity which activity is used to get background color of any sale so we have get cell color activity what are the best and most used option to filter data table in ui path so as per my understanding we have two things one filter data table activity and the second data table dot select method these two are the most used options to filter data table 37 which activity is used to reply to outlook emails in ui path so we have a reply to outlook mail message activity so if you are getting any message any email message from any email and you you want to you know write some activity to auto reply like that so you have this activity reply to outlook so you can set something like auto reply email type like whenever you are getting one email from any any client any manager anywhere so you can write something a uh, static message so automatically it will send one static message like auto reply type now 38 number what are the most popular free ocr engines available in ui path so you all know we have only two that is Tesseract OCR and Microsoft OCR engines. These are very popular. 39. Which activity is used to get total page count of a PDF? So we have get PDF page count activity. What is the full form of OCR? So answer is optical character recognition. 41. Which OCR is useful when the background is darker than the text color? Answer is Tesseract OCR with the invert option. So we have to set invert option true. Is OCR 100% accurate? So what do you think? Can you say if you are using OCR, so can you say to someone that my OCR is 100% correct? No. We cannot say because OCR is always not accurate. Sometimes we get 80%, sometimes 90%, 95% like that. 
based on the our input can rethrow activity be used anywhere in the project no it can only be used in catches block of try catch activity which activity is used to show custom exception message through activity can business exception be retried in uipath queue no business exception that is something that, that we create based on our requirement to be received from our you know, you know our client or that process sme can throw activity be used anywhere in the project yes throw activity can be used anywhere in the project what is the exception handling in, in uipath this is also a uh, most important questions people say what is exception handling so answer is exception handling is a mechanism to detect and handle runtime errors to maintain the normal execution this is exception handling which activities can be used to retrieve information from an asset so answer is get asset activity and get credential activity so get assets activity is used to retrieve the assets value like this can be um, numbers text booleans like that but we have another activity that is get credential which is used to retrieve only credentials from assets now which activity is used to write select query so if you want to write select query in any database using ui path so we have to use execute query activity now which activity is used to connect ui path with database so if you want to connect ui path with sql server or, or any other databases you have to use the answer is connect activity so this is the top 50 most common basic interview questions and answers i hope you like this thank you so much guys thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for all your support i hope you like this if so please like this video and please subscribe this if you have not subscribed yet and share with your friend as well thanks bye